Uh, it felt good. It's kind of crazy that that's my first one. I've been I played a lot of games here, so uh, it felt good to finally get one. Um, I guess road win last week. Is it kind of I know sometimes playing in a dome is kind of weird, but I guess just get to get that win last week kind of. Yeah, uh, the last time we played in the dome it was Idaho, uh, the Kibbe Dome, and that I, that was not a fun game as everyone knows. So um, we went to Idaho again, played in another dome, and this dome was a lot cooler. Um. It was like weird how it was shaped because it was shaped like with the field, but um, I didn't think it was any different. It's still football at the end of the day. So, well, your, your first home experience, uh, you had a pretty big play against NAU. Um, so, yeah, how did you think back to, to that play at all night, that film experience or that film environment? Uh, no, not really. Um, I mean, yeah, it was a good play, but it was three years ago, so I don't think too much about that anymore. Do you think it was good atmosphere? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I caught the ball on like the six yard line, I think, and uh, I was I had a bad first couple plays of the game, and I kind of wanted to get something going, and uh, we were kind of stalling out an offense, and um, our defense gave us a stop and a chance to um, get me get the ball in my hands and get a return. So I was kind of greedy and got got the ball on the six and returned it up to the what, past the um, 50 yard line and got tackled by the punter. So I'm not too happy about that, but. We got tackled by the punter like three times this this year, so Coach Udi might have to start blocking the punter. Yeah, how much trust do you have in the rest of the guys along with the team? Ultimate trust. Um, I mean that I get a lot of recognition for punt returning, and um, it, there's 11 dudes on the field. Um, I'm just the one with the ball in my hands most of the time, so it's not really anything special that I do. Um, I am I feel super comfortable with um, Andrew Powdrill and um, Caden Gray, and they do a great job, and Rylan Ort's always looking out for me, so. Um, it's a good job. Does it help? I wonder, like practicing with Brendan, because like he's a phenomenal punter, you're a phenomenal punt returner. What's that like? Yeah, that's a good question. People don't really realize that, but yeah, he bombs. Pre-game, he was hitting the hitting the ceiling in the dome, and I was like, "What do you do if this happens in the game?" But uh, yeah, practicing with him is sweet, and we had a lot of practice. We had a hang ten rep when we were actually punting, and he punted, and I ran down there and caught it. So. Stuff like that, that's pretty tough to do, and that gives you a lot of confidence, like just sitting back there and looking up and catching the ball. So, you were in on the road so far this season. What do you think the game looked like from last year? Um, schedule part of it, I think, a little bit. Um, and I mean, we didn't play at FCSU this year so far, um, being completely honest, but we're also a different team. We, we, our off season, we attacked a lot harder than we have, um, in previous years, and um, Tommy's balling right now, so that's really good. We have a lot of weapons on offense, I think, more than we've had in a lot of years. So, did you guys have to like do anything different uh, preparing for road trips this year? No, um, it's a football game, so yeah, just that's play football. The process. Yeah, and uh, I mean, going back to punt, you, you caught one of Brendan's punts in the game. Um, so was that kind of I don't know, weird or cool to, to be able to catch you know punts as a returner and as a gunner? Uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, Coach Judy does a good job of. Um, putting us in positions to make plays like that. Um, that's a big play in a football game, pinning, a, pinning their offense down inside the five or at the five, whatever it was. Um, field position comes into comes into play in tough games, and that was a tough game until the very end. So, yeah, I mean, it's that's on coaching too. So, Yeah, I mean, you guys were, were – the, the offense was kind of slow in that third quarter there, and I think that was when you got it right around there. So how important do you think, you know, special teams and, and, and the defense were going to yeah. or to keep in that game, uh, you know, to make sure that you guys – yeah, I think it's important. I mean, football is a special teams, offense and defense. It's not offense or just defense. But um, I think that we clicked at the right times in this game and our defense had the right stops at the right time and they were balling the whole game. Um, special teams played well. I mean, we had that, that decent return and Brendan, was, we had a 45 yard field goal. Um, that's big for his confidence and the team's confident in him. So special teams was dialed. I mean, we're going to be dialed, I think, for a lot of games to come. You mentioned Tommy balling. That was his longest throw for a touchdown in a row run. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, those two are awesome. Uh, I love seeing Rowe score. He's just awesome, awesome human being. Um, and yeah, uh, that was a great play call. Um, I mean, we were running the ball down there, down the throat. So a little bluff play is kind of, kind of smart from um, the offense. So it's just a good job. How much uh, confidence do you take from that game to actually to know that you can pretty much go? On? I think it's I think it's good. I think we knew um, before that game that this team is just different. Like uh, we're gonna fight. Like we got. I mean, it starts with Tommy, obviously. We're gonna fight. Um, you follow your leaders, and that we have what twenty four, twenty three of them this year. 
um, we're going to be fine. It gave us a lot of confidence. How much do you think that short passing early, you got one on the first drive, how much do you think that was, was that just trying to, was that trying to spread them out or was it just simply like that was the best play you guys? It's simply the getting, uh, getting the ball in your um, playmaker's hands and trying to, trying to make a play. Unfortunately, I didn't make a play, but um, yeah, that's all it is. Get your, get your best players the ball and see what you can do. Hopefully they can. I think that their secondary is pretty good. We haven't watched too much of them today. We kind of corrected a lot of the the bad plays that we had from this last game, but their secondary is pretty good. And um, they haven't won a game in a little bit, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, they're a really good team, so we got to come out and start fast, I think. What was your, uh, if any, closure from Spencer Brooks after his run? <laughs> he's, he's just, he just runs mean. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, he had his best game, I think, as a Bobcat. He made a couple cuts that I was like, oh, my gosh, I've never seen you do this before. But he's uh, he's coming along, him and Adam Bull. Um, Jared had a couple good runs, too. So I'm excited for Julius to get back, too. He's different. Yeah, talk about me. How do you, uh, just random question, how do you kind of stay ready in such a tough spot? Um, you just have to. Um, you got to, if you're not ready to um, catch a ball any any play in the game, you're not going to be playing. Coach Udy does a good job of keeping us dialed, and we run through the plays a lot at week. We double rep, so everyone's getting a lot of plays. We're we're not really taking it easy at practice, so um, you just got to be ready. You got to expect the ball every play too. That's a big thing. If you're not expecting it, it might get on you quick, and you might drop it or something. Um, that's all it is. You think you're gonna have a touchdown on that on that ball that was tipped early in the in the, in the game? Oh uh, yeah, I mean yeah. Um, too bad Tommy and I aren't the tallest people, uh, but. Yeah, it is what it is. We won. Yeah. You mentioned Julius was back. It didn't count. Tommy had a hurdle. Did you, did you guys hurdle lessons or something? Uh, he, I mean, he doesn't give me hurdle lessons because no one's going to go low on me. They'll just <laughs> stun me. But I don't know. He might have gave Tommy lessons. That was ridiculous. That was hilarious. I was, like, trying to block, and I saw him hurdle. And I was like, oh, my gosh, i got to keep blocking here. But it was hilarious. Good? Yeah. yeah.